Yeah, that's tough, man. Playing that sun. Absolutely, and, and that ball in particular, and a lot of times you see this in the postseason because you're playing 3 o'clock start times, 4 o'clock start times, and the sun is just right there. And, and for me, Harold, like you saw this play, you, everyone teaches you, you know, block the sun and then catch the ball. But where, where Soto was running, he was running to his left. If the sun is in your left and the ball is to your left, there's no way, like on a line drive, for you, you to like, run you, you block the up. sun, you're blocking yourself, you can't see anything, right? Like, so the goal would be if you get like a pop-up, you're in center field, and the sun is up here to my left, I love this, we got the light. Well, then I'm gonna get around the ball where I can see the ball on this side of my body. But if the sun is over here and it's a line drive over here, your, your best bet, in my opinion, is like, if you're gonna cover your face, just stick your glove out and because you know it's in the area and, and you heard him say it yeah. he's like I saw the ball the whole way but I'm just staring in sun there's no way to get yourself your body in the right position well, let's look at some video real quick what this is what they were contending with not just him but everybody today was looking at this stuff in the sun and this is what the sun was like you know you hear about a high sky that's a difficult one because you, you don't have a whole lot of depth perception on balls but all the outfielders have their glasses on I don't care how good your glasses are you still got to be able to shade it like they're doing right here. And they're getting behind or, or under the ball enough to shade it. Here's the play you're talking about. He's running to his right. The sun is right that way. He tries because he's left-handed to throw that up there. But the more he blocks the ball, like you said, he's blocking his vision from being able to see it. He even carries his glove a little bit lower on this ball than you thought. This is later in the game, he's able to get it up, but no, that's a little lower. See how he yeah. carried it lower? You, see how that is? You see where the, like, he's even putting his glove up and the shadow is over there on, on that other side of his face because he's just staring into just pure sun. So the one thing you would want him to, to do there is to just throw your glove out in case it goes in. Well, who said you know what you're talking about? Oh, I guess you do. But see, this Look is a this. different ball. I'm able, to get, I'm able to get around it, get on the other side of it because it was kind of in front of me. I wasn't going, you know, horizontal. I was, yeah. I was so. If you have a ball that you can get around, yeah, you do that. But on a line drive, he's just kind of in no man's land. The best you can hope for is, like, put your teeth in there, lose a couple teeth, and, like, Oof. stab for it. That's the Oof. only other option for Juan Soto. But look at the difference here when you're able to actually block it off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Look at that lighting. That's but, the difference. So if you are able to get under the ball, for, for young kids, not just staring here with glasses, but you actually shield that sun yep. with your hand or your glove, and be able to catch it. And that allows you to stay with that. And a lot of times you just see a dot mm -hmm. up there, right? Yeah. You're not seeing a full baseball. You just look for that. The shadow, the yeah. The shadow of that ball, and eventually it's going to come out of there. And it takes a lot of confidence. So the best way to do it would be to do like we have a light here. Just kind of throw the ball up in the light, try to get that block out there and then come and catch it and just continue to work on it. You know what I think the best advice is, is, is to pay attention before the ball is hit. Like, where is the sun and where can I get the ball? On Which side of my body will I be able to get the ball out of the sun? Yeah, I, I like how you sense? said turn your body yeah. to get yourself in a position. Because the sun's there and the ball's there. And so, for instance, if Juan Soto was able to get the ball to this side, now, you can, now the sun's over here and you can see the ball. So it's more about your body positioning and being out ahead of it. But sometimes, it, like, like, for instance, in that situation. So if you're practicing at home, I would say look where the sun is and find out where you can have vision and then block the sun and let the ball come out of it. All right, Greg, that's it from here. We're blocking the sun and we're coming <laughs> out of it. <laughs>